Well, welcome back to what has been a very inspirational Monday morning with quite a nice practical edge beneath it. So let's go on that train right now. This Earth Day, we are putting the spotlight on it's a groundbreaking initiative to tackle plastic waste here in South Africa, and there is a lot. Imagined Earth is taking recycling to a completely new space by rewarding customers for recycling with their innovative reverse vending machines. I love it. And here in studio to tell us a little bit more is Sam Bennett, the waste strategist behind Imagined Earth. Believe it or not, we, we share a love of waste management. Absolutely. Um, it's something that excites me because it speaks to the social development arc. It speaks mm -hmm. to something that affects all of Absolutely. us. So Sam, well done for doing what you're doing. There are a million questions that I want to ask, but the first I have mm -hmm. to is what is a reverse vending uh -huh. machine? Yes. Maybe this is a good jumping off point. Okay, so the best way to explain it is that it's exactly the opposite of a standard vending machine. Great. So traditionally you would put money in and you would get a product out. We flipped that around and said, put your recycling in and we will give you money out in terms, in the form of a reward of some kind. So that's essentially from a simplistic perspective, what it does. Makes sense. It makes logical. absolute logical sense. And all we mm -hmm. need in this world is a bit of logic sometimes. Great idea. Yeah. Millions of ideas like this have surfaced, obviously because there's such a great need, a challenge that needs to be answered. What made you guys take this step? How did this become a reality? Um, so I think a little bit of background is the founder started the first door-to-door -door collection recycling um, solution in Johannesburg 100 years ago. And, you know, it's a, it's a very difficult industry to be successful in because recycling is a commodity um, and rebates fluctuate. Mm, margins aren't massive. Margins are very low. <laughs> They're dependent on quality and quantity. Um, and a lot of what happens in Europe specifically is reverse vending machines and they utilize technology. It's driven by legislation and we're getting there. We can talk about that a little mm. bit and how important that is. Um, but Justin, the founder, Justin Needham, went over to the UK and to Europe and had a look and saw these machines and just thought, we have a waste crisis. We're in a poverty trap. How do we solve two problems at What's once? Wrong? And that was sort of how it was born. And that was in around sort of 2015. Um, and the rest is history, as they say, 140 yes. vending machines later. Yes. Says to me, from a, a business sense, that this is working. You've gone now kind of all in in the space. What's the reaction been like? Very positive. I think the, one of the big things to understand is that when you, when you talk to people about waste management, they sort of glaze over for various reasons. I mean, it's not very sexy. Yeah. It's not very exciting. Someone else's job, yo. And it's a grudge purchase. For, so from a business perspective and from a residential perspective, it's something that you pay for, that you don't necessarily get anything Until back Until it's for. too late, generally. Exactly, yeah. uh -huh. exactly. So people have been incredibly excited about the tech aspect of it. You're utilizing a piece of equipment. It all sits on a mobile application, so that's how you cash out your rewards. It's how you communicate with people. And we all know we spend most of our times glued to our phones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, and the convenience factor. So that's a big thing. We had this conversation earlier that convenience is so important. People want to do the right thing, but not really if it's, you know. You kind of, it's picking your battles because sure. there's so much going on. You think, okay, well, if I'm doing all of this there, do I really need to be thinking about I mean, really. waste management yeah. in this space? But it is something that affects all of us. And I think a lot of people would have gone, oh, I can get something back. So that's the key. How does that work? How okay. do the incentives play out? How does the actual system work? Okay. So importantly, when you recycle at home, if you're lucky enough to have a collection, most people don't, which means you have to pay for that I'm the collection. guy. I do the collection for our... You're the guy. You're the collection yeah, yeah. guy. So, but you're not getting anything back for that. Mm -hmm. So each material substrate does have a commercial value. And it varies depending on the type of plastic, whether it's metal, whether it's cardboard or whatever. So the value of that material goes back to the consumer who's recycled immediately into your digital wallet. Uh -huh. So the machine works on a barcode. So a Coke bottle, a water bottle, a sunlight bottle has a barcode. We scan hundreds of thousands of products in order to determine what is that material type. Is it in fact recyclable? 
and what is the material value? Oh, who produced it? Oh, you don't want to know. Uh, you see, this is the crazy thing. All this says to me is data, 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 which is amazing. Absolutely, absolutely. And this is where you've sort of segued into the whole legislation impact. So we've got new legislation in South Africa called the Extended Producer Responsibility Legislation. Okay. What that does is it places the responsibility on the producer, on the brand, on the manufacturer of that packaging to be responsible financially for it to end of life. You must know. You must know. Exactly. Oh, they do that. know. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. You must be accountable now. Yeah. <laughs> so that's the difference. So now you're paying a fee. Now you're paying a fee so that that money can get ring-fenced and then go into developing the recycling economy, design for recycling, ensuring that there is infrastructure in place to be able to have a system to collect, distribute, trade, that says jobs to me. That says 100%. applying the tip of the spear technology. So I, I just get a warm, fuzzy feeling inside. Whenever I see consumer-driven technology being inverted yes. and working for the people, you guys are amazing. You and Very I could exciting. probably sit for about 10 yes. hours <laughs> cool. talking about the potential of a plug-in like this. I absolutely love it. Imagined Earth. We're going to keep their details up on all of our platforms. Please plug into it. If you are looking for a way of empowering your organization, your building, your company, your community, your strip mall, whatever it is, with a connection to the community that they will respond to, I have a feeling this is going to be a game changer. Well, it already is. Um, so we are here for that. I know one man who would be very excited at what we've just spoken about. Nature Boy! Let's put in a big tick in that box, my friend. It's my feel-good breakfast show. Uh, so welcome back. We are loving the conversation today. So, so happy that you're rejoining it as we celebrate World Earth Day. Um, today, we continue the conversation with Sam Bennett from Imagined Earth, a company taking recycling to the next level by rewarding customers for recycling with their innovative reverse vending machines. Whoa. Look, it's not an ATM. You don't just Whoa. go there and put in plastic and get money out. So don't think along those lines. Um, but there are incentives, rewards. And for me, it speaks to, Sam, this ecosystem that you're mm -hmm. creating. You're gonna, you can use this tool to activate little financial ecosystems, find out what communities are using, what the needs are. There is so much potential there. Mm -hmm. um, let's make this real. Talk okay. to me about the people that are actually utilizing these mm. vending machines. What does a customer, if you will, mm -hmm. look like to you guys? So it depends where the machine is, right? So we have your standard vis vending machine sizes and then we have big containers. So the big containers we will then put into larger communities, normally lower LSM communities, because we can take higher volume. And there, the dynamic is completely different. The drive is completely it's different. It's entrepreneurial. It's a business. Absolutely. Yeah? And so this is the key, is to link waste management to social development and social upliftment. You don't need a degree to sort waste. Yeah. But you earn money immediately. And big brands have a, a responsibility and an opportunity to come on board. And they have, in many instances, to drive campaigns as part of this process. So... P P maybe paint me a picture of that because I like, I like to play in this world of practical. How exactly can we do that? How can we further create more impact? Because it seems like there's a great ecosystem here, but nothing in the ecosystem works without input, without obviously keeping that sustained. How do you see that best playing out? What would make that amplify itself even more? So it's happening at the moment yeah. um, when we talk about legislation driving things. So the extended producer responsibility is something that has driven brands to be responsible. Part of that is a mechanism called deposit return schemes. You probably won't remember, but when we were younger, <laughs> you, could, you had refillables, right? Yeah. And so that whole concept of being able to have refillables is also part of this extended producer responsibility mm. legislation. And DRS is rewarding you. It's a deposit return scheme. We have it, we have it right now with court beers, 1.5 litre Coke bottles. For sure. Where you go in, you pay a little deposit, but you get that back when you bring it back. So oh, we're brilliant. keeping materials in circulation. DRS is driving that. So that is the key. It happens all over the world. But it has to be legislated because everybody has to play the same game. For sure. Well, there needs a baseline because the companies that you're wanting, especially big business, they're not in the business of waste management. So absolutely. don't expect them to suddenly be conscientized to go and do that. I absolutely get that. 
what's the, the end game here? What needs to happen? Because clearly this feels like the right path and you guys have yeah. gone all in, as I've said on that. Where could we take this? I mean, it's got huge potential. We were newcomers, we were first movers. We came in with an incentivized system before the legislation caught up. And we are seeing a phenomenal, phenomenal uptake of what we're trying to do here. From a community perspective, from a brand perspective and from a legislative perspective. The more machines we can get out into the community, the more brands that we can get on board to run campaigns. I'll give you an example. We did a campaign with Adidas when they were doing Run for the Oceans. Mm. We all know that they make pileys out of material uh, collected from the beach. Recycled plastic, yeah. So they ran a campaign, they put a certain amount of money um, into the campaign and they said for every, I think it was 20 one litre bottles you recycled, you got a discount off a future purchase of 250 rand. Mm -hmm. now, now you are changing the dynamic. It's not about waste management. It's yeah. about a retailer being able to have a, a future... <laughs> it's, so it's, it's, it cross cuts oh. all sorts of different industries, but we're doing a good job. We're doing good. Yeah, completely. No, I love it because we get so used to this kind of CSR and CSI whitewash at the end of something just to get your tax break. Exactly. This is a real advantage there yeah. and you get the added bonus of fitting in with the legislation as Absolutely. it moves in the right way. Very you're, powerful. You're awesome, man. <laughs> I, I know you <laughs> said you can't get a degree in waste management or you don't need one, but you can get one. You can. And I'm thinking maybe, <laughs> just maybe, this is what my passion is, man. Yeah, I love this, it. Love it.